Hey guys, we're just letting this get up to temp. Today we're gonna do uh, some uh, New York strip steaks along with some potatoes and green beans. I'm gonna throw these on first at about maybe 400, 450 degrees. Uh, then we're gonna crank it up, like whatever we can get it to. Um, we've got a mix of some new charcoal along with some old charcoal in here. And uh, we'll do those steaks just a couple minutes of sight. You'll see, it looks gonna be great. So, then let's get up to temp. We'll throw these on for a little while. And that's gonna be the whole main thing. These are gonna take longer than, than the meat. So I've got uh, potatoes with um, just red potatoes cut up into little quarters. And they're uh, olive oil, some thyme. Uh, I think that's it for those. And then the green beans, some olive oil and some salt. So see how they go. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up, we'll be right back. All right, we're about um, 350-ish. They start to shut things down, so it'll level out at about 400. Remember, we got the uh, green beans and the potatoes. All right, no deflector plate going on here. Put them like that for now. Give that um, about 20 minutes or so, and we'll flip them around. And we'll go from there. I'm going to keep this going. I'm going to dial it in once it gets to about 400. I might go to 450, but we'll see. All right. So it's been uh, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And I let it get up to about 450 in there. Got my hot hands on. We're going to flip these over. You can hear them boiling. All right, we'll give that another 15 minutes. Woo woo. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. These are uh, now officially hot potatoes. So we got the green beans, take them off, take the potatoes, take them off. I'm gonna open it wide open. And get it screaming hot for the steaks. So meanwhile, let's make some butter for the toppings. Hey, so we need some butter to put on top of these uh, these steak -a -roonies. So I have a half a stick butter here. It's been sitting out for a couple of hours, so it's nice and soft. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a, uh, I don't know, what is that, a teaspoon, tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of garlic. Minced garlic. And then a little, just maybe a pinch of thyme. And then just kind of chop it up and mix it around. And we'll use this once the, uh, the steaks are almost done. We're just going to plop little pieces of this on top of them, melt, melt, melt around. And then I have that, uh, I have that acorn. Right now, everything's open on it. And uh, temp's going to climb, trying to get around 600 or so. So it may take a minute. But yeah, just uh, mix it up. 525? It's a 525 right now. So mix all this up. This what's your here sauce doesn't want to mix in. If it knows what it's if it knows what's good for it, it better just mix right in with this. So mix it up. And this butter. 
butter topping is going to be awesome. So I got the, uh, the steaks sitting out right now. Dried them off with a paper towel. And right before we put them on, we're going to season them up with some salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper, nothing fancy. So let me, uh, let me finish mixing this up. And when we come back, we'll put the steaks on. Hey, so now we're going to uh, season these up a little bit. Some crazy dog back there. I don't know if you heard it. All right, so I already patted these dry with paper towel. We're going to put some uh, kosher salt on these guys. Just wash my hands. So we're going to go a little, uh, it's a thick steak. It's probably about an inch and a half. And um, we're going to, of course, do both sides. So just push it in like this. We're going to do salt and pepper. So we got some salt on there. Let's do some, uh, this is coarse ground black pepper. And once you put it on, you don't want to rub it back and forth. You just want to push it in straight down. And by the way, that acorn's screaming along at like 650 degrees. 650 degrees? So let's flip them over to the other side. A little strong in this. <laughs> I'm going to rub there. It's a little strong in that section. So yeah, just salt pepper on these guys tonight. So I'm just spreading it out and then pushing it down. We got the pepper. And again, they're thick. You're going to want to go a little bit liberal on them. I can make an election joke with that, but I'll stay out of that. All right, so these are pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, put them on the acorn. I'm going to grab a little extra from all the spillage. Get on the sides here. All right, we're ready to go. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. We're cooking along here at almost 700 degrees. So when we open this acorn, we got to make sure to burp it, because otherwise it'll flame up like crazy. I've never done it, but I've heard about it. So we have our three New York strips, New York strips. Put them here. We're gonna throw these guys on. It's gonna be quick. We're gonna do. We're gonna put them down for a minute. Then we're going to kind of rotate them for a minute, flip them, go for a minute, twist them, go for a minute, stab them, throw the butter on, see where we're at temperature-wise, and go from there. So meanwhile, you can see my hand here, 700 degrees in this acorn, and, and my hand can, no hot hands, just it's fine to grab. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. I'm going to burp it a couple times just to make sure. That's hot on my hand. Woo! Those coals are super hot. They're glowing. I don't know if you can see it from the video. Anyway, we're going to go catty corner. Catty corner. Wow, that is hot in there. That's hurting my hands. All right. Count down to a minute. I'm not even going to latch it. Woo! 
my hands are still I have no hair left on on my on my fingers. Woo! I can't even look in the in the top there. It's so hot coming out. You can hear them though going crazy. So these are about inch and a half thick New York strip steak. We're running almost 700 degrees in this uh, char griller acorn. So this is old. I'm going to move this off to the side. When they come out, I'll, I'll put them right on this uh, cutting board. And we're at a minute already. You see those flames coming up? So I'm just going to twist them. And then shut it back down. Woo! Hot. Check my watch. We're going to get one more minute. And remember, all we did was uh, salt and pepper on these. Kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper. We're 30 seconds in. And I can see flames up to the top of this thing. It is so hot right now. I might actually shut the gate at the bottom a tiny bit. Try to control this fire. Three, two, one. All right, we're back. I might actually use my hot hands. That is a fire, guys. I'm here to tell you. All right, flip them over. Shut it down. Woo! And one more minute. All right, so after this minute, we're going to twist them again. I'm sure these things are almost done though. I'm gonna kind of start to, to to shut this down a tiny bit. Let me get my hot hand on and figure out which way to twist this. Ooh. Man, it is hot in there. <laughs> it's so hot, it probably melted the plastic up in here. It's going well now. Yeah, we're 650 right now. Right, we got nine seconds. All right, you ready? I'm going to start to shut it down a tiny bit. All right, now we just got to twist them. Give it some time. One minute on the countdown. At that point, we'll be at four minutes for these New York strips. And I'm going to start shutting things down here. Try to control the temp. Once this minute's up, we're going to stab them with the uh, thermometer. And we'll, uh, we'll throw some butter on top. We have about 20 seconds left. All 
All right. Grab my hot hand. These guys are probably about done. So we're looking at 122, 123. 146 on that guy. He's uh, 136 on that guy. So let's go ahead and grab the butter. Whew. Grab a, uh, well, let me see. I don't know how I'm going to get the butter off of this thing. We'll find out. Throw this on here. Oh, that just went right off it. Get up here. That's some hot, that's some hotness going on right there. Woo! Shut it down. I'm just gonna shut things. Get that temp down so my hands don't burn off. We'll give it uh, one more minute here. For 30 seconds maybe. Because these guys are these guys are ready to go. And temp is showing about 575 right now. Since I shut everything down. I don't have it latched, but I do have the top shut and the bottom shut. Let's open it up, take these guys off. Ooh, I need that hot hand. Need my glove. Yeah, the butter's melted like it's crazy fire in there. All right, let's let these guys sit. I'm going to latch this up. It's all shut down. And we'll see you in about 10 minutes. My eyes. All right, guys. Let's cut into these bad boys. My fancy knife. We're gonna move this guy aside. We're gonna move this guy aside. We're gonna just start cutting this guy. And we're gonna do the steakhouse special. We're just gonna cut. What I'm hoping to see, and what do we do? Like four minutes total, five minutes total maybe? I'm not even looking at them yet. I'm going to cut some slices. You can see that butter melted awesome on there. All right, now I'm going to look. I'm going to pick this guy. Ow. Let me show you. So they are, uh, it's dark out and we've got an artificial light going on. So you can't really see it, but that's super pink inside. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll finish cutting this guy up and we'll make up a plate. How the hell with that? I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite. See how it tastes. That tastes awesome. So we have some we have some friends over. They've been waiting for steak. And here I am eating it. And they're like, where's my steak? But yeah, this is... Uh, it's great, super juicy. Just what we're looking for. I like medium rare in there. 
So we got to plate up some things. Thanks for watching. You see that join button down there? Try membership feature. You get to see a bunch of behind the behind the scenes stuff. I want to thank uh, Alton from Dogfather's Barbecue for uh, for joining up recently. You find his link down in the description. Check him out. Also, Dad Life is also a member. Uh, check him out as well. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Who's laughing at me? No, because he's just beaming at you right now. <laughs>